Welcome to our channel, Gracie's Wonderland. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's start the story. Once upon a time in a small village called Sevenu lived a girl named Kiara. She lived with her mom. They were quite poor. But to not stay hungry, her mom would do work by sewing things, especially clothes. She would sew people's clothes, make beautiful dresses for them and earn money. Her dream was to make her child learn in a good school, but she couldn't because they were too poor. But suddenly one day, her mom buy the lottery ticket with a lot of wishes in her mind win the lottery. After winning the lottery, their life completely changed. They became rich. Kiara's mom thought now her all wishes will come true and her daughter will be in a good school. After getting the money, all first she did is admitted Kiara in a very big school and gave the fees of six years altogether so that afterwards they don't have any problem for her studies. After buying the, the things of their favorites, they thought of buying a big house. And their wish came true. They buy a very big house. And they lived happily. But now Kiara's story is, she fell in a trap of a girl who was of her age. Let's start. And come. Hello child, I never saw you before. Who are you? Auntie, nice to meet you. I am Leah. I am your neighbor. Actually, I heard there is a child the of age of me over here where as you have shifted new. So I thought why don't I go and meet? Auntie, sorry to disturb. Are you free? Oh yeah. Yes, you can come in. Okay, I'm calling out my daughter. Then you will play with her, okay? Thank you, Auntie. Hehe. <laughs> Kiara, Kiara, come downstairs. Someone have came to meet you. Okay, Leah, come with me upstairs. Okay, Auntie. Sit down, sit down. Yes, Auntie. <laughs> Leah, you wait. Um, Kiara, my daughter is coming, okay? And I'm bringing some juice for you. Okay, but the juice was not needed. No, Leah, you are new to our house. You should have some. Okay, you wait. I'm coming. Okay, Auntie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I am Leah. I, nice to meet you. I'm your neighborhood. Nice to meet you, Leah. My name is Kiara. Nice name, Kiara. Kiara, can we become friends? I am of your age. Yes, yeah, sure. Why not? I am very glad that you came to become my friend. Because we shifted new. I am not having so much friends here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Kiara, can we go to your room? I want to see your room. Yes, but let mom come. Uh, then I will ask her and let we will go. Okay. Here are you. Leah, some juice and pastries. Here I have bought for you also. You both have and enjoy. Yes, mommy. Thank you, auntie. Mommy, can I take Leah to my room? She wants to explore. Shh, don't say that I want to explore. Okay. No, no, means I want to show her my room. Okay, no problem. Whatever you all want to do, you can do. And yeah, enjoy. And if you need anything, just give me a sound. I will come. Okay, mommy. No, 
Now we can go to your room, Kiara. Okay, Leah. Wow, Kiara, you're having so big bed. Thank you. Can we play something, Kiara? Yes, yeah, sure. Let me bring my toys. Okay. Can I sit in your bed? Yes, of course. Like this, days passed and they both became best friends. And sometimes Leah would ask Kiara to fall in her trap. Not directly, indirectly. Let's see. Kiara, Kiara, you're having so much money. But still, you can't buy a new doll. You know, my cousin, I went to her house one day. She bought a so big doll and even gave me one. So, why don't you also buy? Oh, really? Can we buy? Yes, yeah, sure. You're having so much money in your hand. Really? Okay, I'm going to order two for both of us. Yeah, and also one more thing I'm having in my mind. Let's buy that also for both of us. Yeah. Like this? She would take out some money from her and always buy her own things. Like this, slowly days passed and <laughs> there, Kiara and her mom's monies came smaller and smaller. Oh, oh, slowly money is shortening. What should I do? We don't have enough money. Now money is coming lesser and lesser. What we were going to do i don't know in future i just can't understand what can we do oh. oh my god i just can't understand i'm in so much tension like this again they become in a middle class stage and don't have so much money left they sold many things of their house and more areas which they buyed before but still they were in a very big danger. So her mom again started her sewing business and didn't sell this house because they knew this house is their last shelter. As slowly the money became shorter, her friend always made excuses like uh, um, and just went out. Her friend would just slowly became so bad to her. She would just love to stay away from Kiara because her money less. This means she wasn't a true friend and Leah just forgot Kiara forever. Oh my god, these days Leah isn't coming my home. First she would mostly stay in my house only. But these days she is not picking up my calls. Even if we met in the road, she wouldn't look at me, just look at another side and go, what is happening? Mommy, mommy, what is just happening? These days, Leah has stopped coming to my house. Even when we meet in the streets after school, she doesn't talk to me. She looks at another side and just goes off. Her mom understands why was it happening. Kiara's mom said Kiara that Leah was a fake friend. She came to her just for money. This made Kiara very sad. And she went back to her room. I just can't understand what to do. People are just taking out the real color like this so that do, don't forget the thing that we should work after getting so much money also because one day it needs to be finished. Again, they started following their first routine. Her mom again went for her sewing duty and Kiara says bye to her and stays home alone all doing all things herself her mom says her not to do any work because she is a kid and she will just become tired but still kiara tries to help her mom in every way one day kiara was just sitting alone without any friends thinking curiously what happened to leah then she was becoming bored and remembered her old beautiful doll which she got in her birthday when they were poor her mom bought mom bought it very hardly for her she went upstairs and started finding for it uh here here yes i got it yes oh my beautiful doll i missed you so much sorry i forgot you for so many days i'm very sorry for that but now i will play with you all day she took her doll and went downstairs Finally, she tried to 
brush the doll's hair and a magic happened. The doll standed in the corner by herself and started to change. The doll changed into a beautiful kid. Shara was shocked and went a bit far from the doll. In fear, she said, who are you? Hello, Kiara. I am Tina. Tina? Uh, but I gave that name to my doll, not you. Uh, and where's my doll? Are you my doll? Yes, Kiara. You gave me this name and I'm only your doll who changed into a kid. Uh, oh my God, that's so scary. Leave me, leave me. Don't worry, Kiara. I will not hurt you. I am just turned into a kid because you touched my foot and hair together because your leg touched my foot and your hands touched my hair. What? Slowly Kiara's fear got out and she became friends with the doll named Tina. They became best friends. The whole afternoon they both would play together and the doll would only move and change into a kid when Kiara was alone. Nobody comes in front of them because she was magical. One day Kiara said about the magical doll to her mom. Her mom said, Oh Kiara, you are saying just imaginary things. These don't happen in real. But mom, really? Kiara said a lot and a lot and let her mom believe. Guys, part 2 coming next Saturday. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And tomorrow another exciting video is going to come so stay tuned bye bye <laughs>